Okay, and to bring this back to guitars, here's a um, picture of the robot guitar I helped um, musician Your Killer with. Um, and this has, again, polyphonic preamps, in this case, dual. Um, one for pesos and one for the normal magnetic coils. Um, there's also a sustainer built in. Then there's uh, solenoids over here that um, hammer down on the strings and excite them. Um, and to the left, to the right, there's a, um, uh, a motorized tuning system. So you can change the, the string tension dynamically while it's playing. Um, sadly, Jörg couldn't be with her tonight. Um, I wish you could have shown this. Uh, I'm just going to play a video um, to give you an idea of how this sounds. So yeah, I brought this guitar with me, and 
But I want to talk a bit um, about uh, how I how, how I decided to go on with the, the whole simplification question. Because, like I mentioned, bringing six amps with you that's not really practical. And even if only the effect processing is um, polyphonic, that's also a lot of gear to shop around. So at some point, I made the decision to to go software. So all my all my effect processing is now on, on a laptop or whatever little computer or it's available. Regarding the speakers, and also regarding the spatialization I was talking about, I was looking for a way to incorporate that while still keeping things compact. Because um, relying on venues that have um, multi-channel system with four, eight, or even more speakers that limits you on where you can play. Um, and I wanted a way to find a way where I could um, um, kind of convey this, this idea of specialization in a more complex form. And I, I have two solutions for this. The first one I want to show you is with my duo Gunsfeld, um, with this Aldi. And what we do here is we, instead of having speakers, we just have we just use transducers. And transducers are basically speakers without the cone. And what you do is you you, um, you, you take them or glue them or whatever, um, apply them to a resonating surface, and then that surface becomes your speaker. Um, so we play a lot with architecture and and found objects and spaces that we that we play. Um, we also decided to put um, all the amplification system into our instrument cases. So over here you see my base case, um, which has overall ten channels of audio. It's battery driven and has all the spatialization electronics on a small board. And the same, same thing for, for her setup. Um, she plays um, a polyphonic trumpet. Um, the speaker cable and the transducers all go in the backpack and then we can we can just hop onto a bus um, to wherever we want to go and play the bus station because these um, glass panels actually sound quite nice. Um, or we can play the bus given the chance, but that's a bit touchy with the bus drivers. Um, we also like to use um, more spectacular architecture, like um, here it's the um, beer cauldrons and Kindle power by. Um, but sometimes it's garbage cans, and sometimes, a lot of the time it's windows. Um, so on. Okay, and the second solution I came up with that's um, that's this uh, guitar case here. Um, so I decided to turn spatialization outside in, basically. So instead of having a multitude of speakers around you that project inwards, I put. Um, Again, transducers inside the case, and now the case projects outwards, but um, in a multi-channel way, um, using the different surfaces of the guitar case to direct the sound, um, and also filter it because up here you don't get much of a bass, re bass response. Um, yeah, you can see that over here. Um, it's Little round objects that's the transducers that couple directly into the shell of the base. And I also have a booth, so you can come and have a look at this later on or tomorrow. Um, one idea here is also to kind of mimic the the um, the omnidirectional radiation patterns that you get from acoustic instruments. Um, so, so the idea was to fit an electric car better into a, into a certain chamber music-like situations. That's really my my background where, where I play most. 
of twisted musicians in small, small places, where, where um, a guitar amp or a PA system kind of often clashes with, with the acoustic quality of the, of the normal instruments. Um, and also, a lot of guitar amps um, are really noisy when you switch them on. That also doesn't sit well in this kind of thing. Um, I'm speaking of the Berliner Echtzeitmusik scene, which some of you might know. Um, the focus there is, uh, is on, on improvisation and, and creating unique sounds. And melody and rhythm usually don't play such a big role. Um, so there's lots of experimental playing techniques. And some of these are very softly played. And what I like is to, to amplify these really soft sounds. And so one thing I did in this new guitar here is that I put the A to D conversion inside the guitar um, so that there's no chance for any interference. And I can crank up the game to you know, 30 dBs up and there's still no hum. And I can play this really subtle stuff. Um, and yeah, maybe I just play a bit of that. <laughs> 